So here's something I want to talk about. So the hearing's still going on for Kavanaugh. And, you know, this is one of those things. When it was Garland and Obama was president, the Republicans did everything they could on the defense, right? If this was a game of football, the Republicans were blitzing. They were double covering. They were throwing illegal blocks when they had to. They were using strategic timeouts. They were faking injuries. They were managing the clock. They were doing everything. Now it's the other way around and the Democrats don't even put a defense on the field. And yes, they're saying nice things at the hearings. They're saying passionate things at the hearings. They're using an opportunity to basically subtly campaign for 2020. That's what Cory Booker's doing. But they could not show up for roll call. They could force them to be dragged in. They could plead for waiting until the midterms. All these things they could be doing, they're doing none of that. And if ever there was a time, if ever there was a time to use Russiagate to our advantage, this is it. Yeah, you know, why? You hear about Russia, Russia, Russia 24-7 on cable news. And how Trump's a traitor, this is treason. You hear about it 24-7. If ever there was a time for Democrats to use that as a political football, how is this not it? How is this not it? To say, we have a, a traitor in chief. He shouldn't have a say in our court pick. This is a tainted process out the gate because this president shouldn't be here. How are they not using that politically? If ever there was a time. And, and this is why... A lot of progressives, myself being one of them, show a lot of skepticism towards Russiagate because we've only seen negative effects from it. When it comes to uh, Silicon Valley monitoring social media platforms, when it comes to um, you know people being blocked and people being shut out from Twitter, and no, I'm not referring to Alex Jones. You know that's happening, but when it comes to actual why don't the Democrats use this as a political football? It's not happening. And when is there? How is that not even being mentioned? How? This is from the Washington Post. So we all know what happened yesterday. They dropped 42,000 pages of documents. And it was sent to them the previous night. Why? Because they don't want people reading it. But despite all this, Kavanaugh, 53, has a good chance of being confirmed this month. But he faced tough questions. That's all they talk about, the tough questions he faced. So I guess my question, why? Why isn't there a defense on the field? And how? I mean, if ever, what am I missing? What am I missing? If ever there was a time to bring up Russiagate, the thing that cable news has talked about pretty much nonstop for over two years now. If not now, when? And if there's one time where, where this could actually be used, I mean, that's the thing. There's some people, they defend Russiagate because they say, well, it's, it's hurting Trump's agenda. Is it? Is it? I just see it hurting independent media. I see it, I mean, I see it, people throwing McCarthy smears out there. Which, by the way, that's how they stopped the labor movement the first time. By the way, McCarthyism was the first time, that was the first time they stopped the labor movement. So we're seeing history repeat itself. So why aren't they doing that? Why aren't Democrats doing that politically? I'll see what you guys are saying. Maybe I'm missing something. Joseph says, the hearings are a load of BS. There is nothing particularly productive there. Both sides grandstand and attempt to look like proper politicians. Exactly. Jennifer says, wow, Ron, never thought about that. Magnetic perturbation. We're talking globetrotters versus Washington generals. Chris, because Russia gave its political theater for grandstanding, distracting, and pumping up the military budget. I mean, how can anyone take this seriously at this point when it's like, if ever there was a time, now's the time. Meanwhile, that's not even being mentioned. All right, so we have a story about it. This is from Susan. Kavanaugh hearing erupts as Democrat Leahy accuses nominee of receiving stolen emails and Republicans of hiding proof. 
The confirmation hearing for Donald Trump's nominee to the Supreme Court, Brett Kavanaugh, erupted Wednesday as uh, Senator Patrick Leahy uh, accused Kavanaugh of receiving stolen emails from his office during confirmation hearings held for nominees of the George W. Bush administration. Leahy extensively questioned Kavanaugh about emails that were stolen from Democrats by Republicans operative Manuel Miranda in 2002. Leahy suggested that Kavanaugh may have received stolen emails and asked a series of questions, um, which received variations on, I don't recall. Leahy then referenced the trove of emails that the committee's GOP chairman, Senator Chuck Grassley, has kept in a secret file that his Democratic colleagues are not allowed to question Kavanaugh about. Now when you worked at the White House, did anyone ever tell you they had a mole that provided you with secret information related to nominations? I don't remember the reference to a mole, which sounds highly specific, but it's common, I think, for everyone to talk to each other at times and share information. So you never received information from an email from a Republican staff member claiming to come from a spying from, hang on. So you never received information from an email from a Republican staff member claiming to come from a spying on the Democratic poll. He, okay, yeah, that's cl claiming to come from a spying on the, wow. Uh, I don't really, I'm not gonna rule anything else, Senator, but. Uh, so what's really important here is not the fact that this guy is a terrible candidate that doesn't represent public opinion at all. And that what we're told 24-7 on the media is that Trump uh, is a tainted president. We're, we're, we're told that 24-7. That he won because of some Twitter and Facebook ads from Russia. The issue is not that. The issue here is that this guy might have gotten some emails that hurt Democrats. This is what causes the eruption. Not that Democrats refuse to show up because they wanted public opinion represented. Not that Democrats used some political tactics similar to what Mitch McConnell did. Not that Democrats screamed at the top of their lungs because Barack Obama was denied a pick that was rightfully his, but because there may have been some emails. Is this anything more than theater? This is not hardball. This is smoke and mirrors. And if this was the other way around and the Republicans were fighting the Democrats on a pick, the Republicans would be winning. They knew, they took it from Barack Obama and Barack Obama accepted it. Why? Because they thought for sure they were going to win in 2016. Emails. That's, <laughs> that's what it is, emails. It's the only outrage there is. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and 